with the team with like yours, where you have several kids who are going to be future Division One athletes, going to see them playing on Saturdays. How do you guys not let the, the ego affect you? Because you guys are one of the more humble squads. When you've done probably the most winning out of any of the squads up here, what is it about that team that keeps you guys so level-headed? Uh, well, well, Coach Chris, said, he always preaching one band, one sound. So no one has, no one's better than no one on the team. We're all equal. We're all the same. I like that, man. I like that. Well, well, without further ado, he's a pretty humble guy. Let's let some of this uh, this huddle film speak for him, man. So take us through this play. What's going on on this play, and what's the situation? All right, so this is my spring varsity film. We got, let's see. So we got doubles right, but we call this trade because we, we got a wide off tight end, and we got a single to the left. And so right now I'm looking at the running back in his formation, right? So the strong side is to the right because the running back is on this right side. Okay. So that flow is going most likely to go to the left side of the open field. But they're in the middle of the field right now. So I'm going to let this play. So right now I'm in Miami. I'm playing a mic back right here in the middle. Got my nickel down here on the slot. Then I got my rover. No, this is my outside linebacker, my fault. Outside linebacker right here on this hash on this left side. I love how you attack the A gap. Yeah. So, okay, my fault. So, right there, we had a down block by the center. We had a pull by the guard on the other side. So, right there, they're going. on in that A gap, too. Yes, yeah, sir. So, so, they're going to take that. They're going to do is that buck sweep to the outside to the right. And so, right down in the middle, I'm just reading the flow. So, I'm going straight downhill to the A gap. Now, for some of the folks at home, tell us what's the importance of the fact that you took on that blocker instead of trying to go around and shoot the gap? Man, if you go around and shoot the gap, you miss, right? then you leaving it uneven, right? So now they have more blockers to outside and potentially it can be a uh, touchdown. So in that case, despite you having the speed where you could have gotten past it, you, you made the decision to take on that block to basically to maintain the integrity of your formation because that allowed the safeties and everyone else to catch mm -hmm. up and make plays as well. Yes, sir. All right, man, let's, let's move on to your next one.